Hi everyone, thanks for joining me at So What's New. My name is Nicole, and today I'm going to be talking about the cam.com rivet press. Now I say cam.com because you can go to cam.com, and that's where you can purchase this rivet press that I'm going to be talking about today. In no way, shape, or form did they ask me to do this review or endorse this in any way. This is all my own personal opinion, and I hope you enjoy my review and me showing you how to use this um, rivet press today. So let's get right into it. Okay, first of all, I'm going to show you a couple of things that you can do with your rivet press. Um, with mine, I use it for the rivets um, just by themselves. I use the 8 millimeter, and I'm going to be showing you um, how to use it with the 8 millimeter, but I'm also going to show you how to use it with the cam snaps. So, the cam snap size that I use today for this, and just my personal preference of cam snaps in general, is the size 20. And I did order this huge bag from them. I believe I got it in a bundle, but all of the um, links will be below for where I specifically purchased this, um, which one I exactly purchased, and then all of the little sets that I'm going to be showing you today to use the press will be linked below. Okay, so ways to use it. This is um, one of the ways that I like to use my rivets. This is the 8 millimeter. I think it just gives it such a polished look. This is a little... Um, clutch. I actually do have an Etsy shop, so I'm really particular about my items and how they look, and I always want them to look very professional, and I want them to be well made. So yes, you can, if you sew or craft, yes, you can absolutely sew down to close these cute little handles, but I personally think the rivet press just looks so nice, or the rivets look so great. So that's the 8 millimeter, And again, you can do a 10 millimeter, and that would be great too because it would cover just a little bit more surface. It's just your personal preference. I just use the 8 millimeters because I like them. Another way that you can use the rivets, I make these wallets. And if you make wallets or items like this, it's such a great way to add a professional touch to anything. Look at that. Don't those look pretty? And I do too. So the 8 millimeters are great for me because I just use the two little ones and I just think it looks really pretty. Okay, so that's another way. And then as for the um, the size 20 snaps, this is what they look like. And they're a teeny tiny bit bigger. They do have, a, I believe, a 14, a 16, 20, and then I think it even goes up from there. But I used the 20. And I will go ahead and show you guys or post that link below for you if you decide you like the size 20. So that's, they just, they open and close so nicely. And it adds such a beautiful touch to any item that you make whether it be gift or you're selling it, I just think it's so fun. So I love to craft and sew, and I was really excited to order a rivet press, but I was also really overwhelmed because when I was doing my research, there was a lot of um, competition and ones that, that were selling for really cheap, um, some that were really expensive. So I definitely went somewhere in between. Um, Amazon.com sells them. They sell them for really cheap, but the problem with Amazon.com is I didn't see very good reviews on them. A lot of them were falling apart. They didn't hold up while being in use, and to me, that's just not okay. I didn't want to spend less and get something really cheap. I'd rather spend somewhere in the middle and at least know I'm getting something really great. But let me tell you, right now, I went online, and I was a little sad because right now they're having crazy sales on a lot of the things that I purchased at full price, so that's okay, totally worth it. Um, I would do it again because I use them all the time. So the Rivet Press currently is on sale for $49.99, originally $69.99, so that's a pretty good price difference. And when I ordered from cam.com, they shipped it extremely fast. I want to say I waited maybe a week to get my rivet press. So as impatient as I am, I really felt like within a few days I had my rivet press. It was crazy. So And they packaged it perfectly, and it was really easy to take out of the box and really easy to put together. So that's a plus for me. Okay, so on to the rivet press. I'm going to go ahead and lower this for you guys just so you can see everything that I'm doing. So again, this is the cam rivet press. I went ahead and just purchased the green. I didn't need anything fancy, but currently they are having the pink one on sale along with the green one. Both are $49.99, so that's a great deal. All right, let me go ahead and show you some of the dies that you can purchase with this set. With this set, I went ahead and purchased this die set, and it is for the cam snaps. And this is the specifically the size 20 die set for the cam snaps. And we'll be doing that one. And then I went ahead and purchased this set. I'm sorry, excuse me, this set. 
it's the two little pieces and these are for the eight millimeter rivets now um, I believe this set alone for these uh, honestly for the I think it was $80 and I don't remember seeing a sell for these so that just shows you how much people wow. use these and how popular they are <laughs> I hope the noise in the background isn't gonna bother you guys okay and one last set that I ordered that I think is a huge plus to anybody who's going to be using this rivet press is the hole punch and I remember when I saw it online, I wasn't sure if I really needed it, but I thought, why not? I'll go ahead and get it. Now, when I went ahead and purchased this, it was $69.95 for this little set, but it is currently on sale for $13.99. So I highly suggest if you are thinking about maybe skipping the step, you can't beat it for $13.99. And it's such a great process and first step when you're going, when you know, you're putting in the little um, pieces for your cam snaps and your rivet presses. I use it every single time. So I'm gonna use this one first, just so you guys can kind of see how it works. I believe this little metal piece actually came with my press, so that you can just keep right in there. This is the, the bottom piece that you're gonna be using when you are making the hole. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in my basin, just like so, super easy. And I'm going to be taking my little piece, and the reason you know this is the top is because it's got a screw-like look to it, which is going to get screwed right into the top of this press. Really, really easy. Now for this one, I'm going to go ahead and fold over my fabric so that it's got more layers to it. And you guys can truly see how well this press works with layers. I have lots of um, thick layers that I'm using with my fabrics and I need something that's gonna really hold up. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark my little hole. And that just gives me a guideline of where I wanna press and I'm gonna give it a really good push just to make sure that it really gets that hole punched. And as you can see, it definitely did. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get my little rivets out. Should have had these out already, I apologize. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do one. And let's get the bottoms out. And all the sets come like this. They come already kind of put together for you. Not a whole lot you need to do for that. Now I've got my top little part and it's got that little little long side to it and I'm gonna go ahead and put that right in here where I marked my holes where I punched my hole I should say and then I'm just gonna snap this little bottom piece and you can kind of hear it kind of does a little snap which is perfect and then just for the heck of it while I've already got my hole punched there I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple holes so that when I do my cam snaps you guys can see how easy it is to do that. Let's do those right now, just so I don't have to do that extra step later. And that's something that's so great about these. When you need to make several hole punches, you can just mark them and go ahead and do all of those at once, and then you don't have to worry about it for later. Okay, so for the rivet press, again, sorry, we're going to keep our little base in there that it comes with. For the eight millimeter, we're gonna go ahead and put this little piece in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my little screw top in here. Screw that in like so. I'm gonna grab my little rivet. Now the bottom part, the round part, I'm just gonna go ahead and push, put gently right on that little, and it kind of has a groove in there, so you know. Just give it a nice light little press. It doesn't need a lot. And there you go. Beautiful little rivet. Isn't that great? Oh, I just love this. Okay, so that one I'm gonna set aside. So that is as easy as it gets with this machine, which is why I'm kind of obsessed with it and I use it all the time. Okay, let's go ahead and take out these little pieces now. We're gonna go ahead and use, we're gonna take this base out because now we're gonna do the cam snaps. And that is our little buttons. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take my cam snaps. I'll go ahead and do the lime green again, why not? I don't think I'm gonna be using too many lime green snaps, so I don't mind that I'm using a couple of those. And again, they all come so organized like this. 
Now I've been meaning to get a little organizer so I can put all of my snaps in a nice little box and just pick them out as I need them. I think it'd be a lot easier. I just haven't got around to it yet. I just got these not that long ago. So I'll go ahead and do that one of these days soon. So there's my two. You've got the top and you've got the bottom and they're both the same little pieces. They've got, both got that little sharp little ends. And then you just need one of each. You need one of these. One's going to be the little snapping piece at the bottom. And the other is going to be that little piece that goes inside when you snap two snaps together. And we just need one of those. So total you'll be using uh, four little pieces. Set those aside. Okay, so now I've already made my little holes, which is great. But this one, I thought I made it, but it looks like it. Maybe, oh no, it went all the way through. Okay, so I had previously used the hole punch to make the hole, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and put my little piece in there, and I'm gonna set it upside down for a second. And then these are the two pieces that you're gonna use for the cam snaps. And the size that I used again was the size 20, and I will link that below to the specific dies that you will need for the size 20. So I'm gonna go ahead, and the reason I know which one goes in which is because when you put it in, it just naturally kind of goes in where it's supposed to go and you'll know that's the right one because the other one won't fit as well and this one I'm going to go ahead and put upside down in here just push it in like so so now you've got both of those centered in there just how they're supposed to be so I'll go ahead and do one of them and we're just going to go ahead and screw this in here as easy as that okay and then I'm going to go ahead and I'll use this one first. So here's where I placed it. Now you put it upside down where the flat surface is and you want that little pointy part up and you're going to give this one actually a really nice press. Really nice press because you really want it to be set. Look how beautiful that looks. Doesn't that look great? And then now we're going to do the other side so that I can show you how well it snaps together when it's done. Again, flat side. Let's go ahead and take this one out. We've already used that one, so we're done. And now we're gonna go ahead and place the one that we have not used yet. Just like so, we're gonna screw it in there. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this upside down again. We're going to press, and again, you're going to give it a really good, nice press because you really want it in there tight. Perfect. Oh, well, I did it opposites, but you get it. I did one earlier that you can see how it snaps open. Isn't that perfect? Perfect. Anyways, that's that. Okay, so those are all of the little dies that I use. I'll go ahead and place them together again so you guys can kind of see all the sets that I used. So these, let's go ahead and unscrew this one from the one that I just used. So these are for the cam snaps. It's going to be these three. And then for the hole punch, it's going to be this one and this one. Go back a little so you guys can see it better and then for the rivet press it's going to be for the rivet uh, dies it's going to be these two little ones and again if you order a larger size rivet or a smaller one it's going to be the same style just smaller um, sets so again right now the press is currently on sale for $49.99 I highly suggest getting it at that price otherwise you'll spend the 70 which again is still a really great deal for um, you know crafting if you're going to be using it all the time okay guys all right well I hope this was a helpful video I hope that it was um, helpful in the fact of how it showed you how to use it why I love it so much and again I'll go ahead and link all those um, presses and dies below so you know where to get them and I'll show you the ones that I got exactly and I hope this helped um, change your mind on whether you would or wouldn't use a rivet press all right thanks guys bye bye